So once you go on Warb AI's website, there are two ways you can go about creating a campaign. One is you can click this button here to create a campaign. From here, you will be directly able to register yourself as well as create and make your payments to get a campaign started. And the second one is you can first sign up with Warp and you can get access to your dashboard. And then from there, you can go about it. So let's see, let's click on this button here. Now you have to write your company name here, your email here. All right, and so once you sign in, this is the, your dashboard where you will be able to get a summary of all your current and completed campaigns. So as you can see, all my campaigns which are currently drafted, which are live and which are completed are listed here. So now in order to create a new campaign from here, you can click this button here, create campaign. Okay. Now in this first page, you have to define the goal of the campaign. Now the goal of the campaign include your campaign title that will be visible to influencers and your campaign objective, which is what do you wish to achieve out of this campaign? Now there are multiple things which include you want to increase your website traffic or your engagement or this is just content creation or you want to focus on sales. You have to select those options accordingly. So for my campaign, uh, This is the campaign title and I want to focus on engagement. So let's go next. Now in the audience detail, you have to define the kind of influencers that you're looking for, which includes the gender of the influencer, location, followers, engagement rate, de detailed demographic interest and languages. Now for ease of doing things, let's say we go with mail, uh, we choose the location Mumbai. Now I would want all my influencers to have a minimum of 40,000 followers and 2% engagement rate. So I will select them accordingly. Now in the interest demographics, you have to select what does your influencer specialize in or what kind of influencers they are. So since it's a web companion company, I will go with everything that is related to marketing and digital e-commerce. So I will select all those options here. All right, we're done. Now in the language section, the kind languages in which they make content. So I will just go with English for this one. All right. Now in the next section, you have to give all your campaign details, which include your brand name, your brand and campaign overview, the deliverables you want, and the brief and instructions to the creator. Now, uh, yeah, so let's go. Hosting in India is my brand. Now, I want my influencers to generate content. I do not want to give them pre-created content. So I will choose influencer generated here. Now, once you click that, you will have to give influencers a brief overview of your brand and campaign so that they will be able to understand your product and brand better. So I have already written it here. So I'll just copy paste it. All right, in the deliverables now, you can choose from the options available. Now for Instagram, I would just want a static post and a story and I do not want YouTube. So I will just select those two and the more, the more number of deliverables you choose, the higher the price goes. So that has to be kept in mind. Now brief to the creators. Now here you exactly define what you want to convey to the creators. Like, is there something that you want them to create in a particular way or you have to just communicate whatever you want with them to create for this campaign now since i've already written a brief note i will just copy paste it there all right now i do not since it's i'm already asking influencers to create influencer generated content i do not need to upload here particularly now a redirection url is if you let's say if you are focusing on uh to get more traffic on a website or to like generate more sales or just you want just more engagement on your website you can add that URL here. So these will be added. For example, in Instagram, it will be added as a swipe up link or in the description or for YouTube in the description or in the bio. So this is what you have to add here. So let's 
people with this is the redirect URL I want to focus on all right now in the tags and hashtags you have to mention for all the Instagram posts that you will be doing will be who will they be tagging so I want to uh, let's say Hoshinger India and walk.ai and this is what I want them to tag on the post so I will add them here and the hashtag section also you have to use all the relevant hashtags which are relevant to your campaign to get more reach uh, so I will add all of them here all right sounds like I'm done now in the cover photo of the campaign you have to choose the cover photo that will be visible to influencers while they browse to all the campaigns so I want I have created this one here so I'll add it here this is what I want my influencer to see now there is a particular size for this so you have to keep that in mind now uh, do I have a store visit no all right so here you can add the product de description separately as well for example if you want purchase and sales to happen you can add those links here with the name description and URL and you can add as many as you want so let's uh, go with all right This is what I want to add so I will submit it and it's done so you can see it's here now barter details is something for example if you if I have a product company and I want influencers to have my product visible in the video or the content they create or them to actually receive those products so you can choose if you want uh, you can see the options here my campaign does not require influencers to purchase any product so you can there are various various options to choose from so I do not have a barter product for this so let's say uh, I do not want I uh, it doesn't require any barter so let's go all right so here are additional gu guidelines that you can add like once you click here you can add these are the default guidelines that we have made sure that influencer uses and follows but if you have any other ones you can definitely add them here now towards the end now you choose the date of your campaign let's say I want my campaign to start from 5 of November and, and by 30th November now between this time period all your influencers who will be endorsing your campaign will have to complete all the steps involved and in, in order to like complete the campaign and then let's click next right so now here is where we define the number of influencers we are looking for now if you want to go by budget or if you want to go by influencers that's up to you once you choose budget you can wheel or automatically our AI will detect what is affordable and will suggest you the number of influencers accordingly or if you want to go by the number of influencers we'll be suggesting a budget accordingly so let's say I want to go by number of influencers so I want uh, 40 influencers for this one all right yeah so as you can see this is my budget here now you can either click the pay button here or you can click submit and pay later now once uh, you create the pay button here you have to add the phone number and email so let's go all right now you can choose your options for payments here and the payment will be done and from here you can see those invoices now other option is if you don't want to pay now you want to pay later you can obviously submit all your requirements and you will be able to add them here so see campaign has been added it will be reviewed and approved so once this is done and our review team will so you can see there is one campaign pending review now our review team will re review a campaign and if it meets all the standards and if it's fine we'll review your campaign we'll approve it and then they will be displayed here so that's how you create a campaign with Wobby. I thank you for watching